Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about the interactional the framework for analyzing the leadership and uh, therefore uh, you will find there are the different parameters uh, dimensions are there uh, because when we talk about the leadership no it does not depend only on the leader it depends on the so many other factors also and therefore in that case uh, we will be talking about that is the what are the different uh, dimensions factors are uh, situations which are responsible and we will say that is uh, looking at the leadership through the several lenses. The interactional framework for analyzing the leadership, uh, the, uh, the, these three factors are very, very important, the leader, the follower and the situation and uh, the changing the roles for the followers uh, uh, that is the how we are uh, uh, these uh, followers and uh, their roles is also keep on changing because the leadership is complete with the uh, leaders and the followers also. It, it will not be only through the leader only and that is why nowadays lot of work is going on that is the how this leadership, uh, leadership is uh, working. Uh, this leader, uh, leadership interaction between the leader, followers uh, and the situation that uh, what we will uh, talk about is, is the, the crowd will follow a leader who, may, uh, who marches 20 steps in advance. Right, because the basic condition is of the visionary and when we are talking about that is the visionary leadership is there, then of course in that case he has to be ahead. But if he is a thousand steps in front of them, they do not see and do not follow him. Now a very beautiful point has been mentioned, that is the uh, how much he should be ahead, the vision. And now you see we are living in a certain situation of uh, uncertainty and therefore in that case it becomes very very important that is the whether we will be going through this particular uh, parameters of the uncertainty. Uh, first and foremost is like uh, we have seen this pandemic situation and therefore if you are making a planning then how much steps you should be ahead. So, therefore, in that case that is the studying only the leaders that will provide just a partial view of the leadership process and in that case it becomes uh, uh, the uh, in isolation, uh, it, it is not uh, in the way of that the, it will be combined one and uh, if uh, we are not uh, working uh, and uh, including the situation in the followers. That is why uh, as I mentioned earlier that when we are uh, seeing this leadership through the several lenses and in this several lenses says the situation and the followers are to be the part of this particular leadership process and the whenever any leader who is frequently understanding the situation he will be becoming more successful. The leadership is more than just the kind of person the leader is or the things the leader does. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it is not just that uh, what is the personality of the leader only. So, it is much more than that is there and it is also that is the whatever the thing is, uh, is uh, done by the leader right, it is much beyond that. And what is it beyond that? The clearest picture of the leadership process occurs only when you are all three lenses to understand it. So, it is, it, it is a combination, it is a combination of the leader, follower and the situation. Whenever you are uh, having uh, these uh, all the three lenses and not the single one, then you find that you are becoming the more successful uh, leader. Now, first I will like to take about the leader, the personality of the leader, that is what type of the personality a leader has. Now, the there is another model that is called the personality Joffrey Holland's model is there. So, leadership has to be fit with the personality, leadership style and therefore, what type of personality is required? Again here I would like to mention that is the personality related to the job, job fit is very, very important for what type of the leadership the person is. So, if the person is leader, 
for these paintings, then he should be in the arts and paintings. But if the leader uh, is uh, for the organization, then definitely in that case, he has to be uh, the more more dominance. We cannot make in isolation, and therefore he has to go for this personality uh, matching with the job. Second is the position. Now, what type of position? junior level position, middle level position, senior level position like I always give the example of immediate supervisor because he is the backbone basically. So, vision is created at the top management, but what is important is that is the implication and an implication will be done by the frontline supervisor. So, that position is also becoming equally important. The expertise of this uh, leader, there is a what sort of the expertise the leader has and uh, many times you find the person has started the leadership with the one expertise and he ends with the another expertise uh, and many times it is a positive because it reflects the flexibility. As far as the followers are concerned, followers value systems, now you see there is a trust trust is a value system and therefore, whether the follower is having the trust with the leader, if the follower is having the trust with the leader, then definitely uh, in that case leadership will be more contributing. The what are the norms, the rules, regulations followed by the followers are there and if they, it is followed, then definitely he will be able to uh, understand that particular part. Now, the, the situation is that is the whether the, it is a favorable situations or the unfavorable situations. Here, I would like to take this particular analyzing leadership with the help of the, our previous diagram, there is a particular leadership situation scenario to be examined using each level of analysis separately. It is examining the interactions in the area of overlaps uh, can lead to the better understanding and therefore, in that case it is, it is always whatever these overlaps is there that, that overlaps when the, they, they are making the common circle. And if it is a common circle is there, then uh, there will be wider the common circle, better will be the leadership. So, leadership is the result of the complex interactions among the leader, the follower and the situation is there. Now, here also I would like to mention that is a leader can handle the situation and can create the situation. This is very, very important. While the in the situations which, which have been created because if there is an unfavorable situation, the leader has to create the favorable situation and whenever he creates that favorable situation, the leadership will be more influential. To become the more influential leadership, uh, because the leader is having his own personality, follower is having his, his own roles and norms and therefore, in that case, it, it, is, it is what a leader can change and leader can change the situation is there. Now, how leader can change that particular situation. In the case of the leadership aspects of the leadership uh, equation, whenever we are talking about that is the in a given condition that is the situation, whether he is able to go for that aspects of the leadership equation. If he is able to go by that aspect of uh, 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 the leadership equation on basis on that is the what type of interest does he have? Hmm? that is a personality and naturally the leaders who is having the interest in the uh, commitment to the organizations and, and uh, per getting the job done, then definitely that will be more effective. The character traits of the particular leader, what type of the traits is having, the motivation level of that lever, highly motivation, high motivation, high results will be there. So, therefore, in that case the effective leaders right they they are making these uh, uh, different from the followers in the case of the personality traits and cognitive abilities the skills and the values are there now now what type of the cognitive abilities are there decision making skills if he is having the proper decision making skill definitely he is doing better another way personality can affect the leadership is the through temperament what type of temperament now attitude hmm? like the very simple example is that is this temperament depends on three factors heredity environment and situation is there so therefore the what if the temperament is as per the demand of the situation then definitely the leader will be more and more successful the leaders appointed by the superiors may have less credibility and may get the less loyalty Right. So, many times uh, like you see that is a boss, when we say the boss, uh, the people are having the very funny comments about the term boss is there, right. Why? Because he has been appointed by the superiors is there, but when the boss is elected or emerging by the consensus from the ranks of followers are seen as the more effective is there and therefore, in that case it becomes very, very important 
that that is the it is not the forcefully placed leadership is not by the forcefully placed it is not the manager it is not the organizational position it is the influential position and therefore his experience or history in a particular organization is usually important to his or her effectiveness is there. Now you see an impression management, impression management is created by that particular leader in the organization in such a way that is the people know. If you are working in an organization for 5 to 10 years, people know that leader, know you, that is what type of decisions you will take. And the extent of follower participation in leader selection may affect a leader's legitimacy. Now, now you see that is the if uh, it is a very common process nowadays and everywhere the followers are consulted. So, whenever a new person is to be appointed then definitely in that case the opinion of followers uh, that is becoming very very important. Now, in the certain aspects of the followers uh, affect the leadership process that is the it means that the followers select the leaders. So, therefore, you have to see that is what type of the followers are there because uh, JC Praja, Vesa Raja, the type of the people uh, is there, they will select the king accordingly. So, therefore, in that case, it is the expectations. What are the expectations? So, if the expectations of the followers are that that is our, our uh, uh, leader should be task oriented, they will select the task oriented. When then also the followers the personality traits, what type of personality is there? If the followers are sincere, hard working, organizational engagement, commitment is there, then definitely they will select a leader who is reflecting, who is reflecting those traits and uh, always there has to be the understanding between the leader and the follower and that is the maturity levels are there. And according to the maturity levels, the, the followers will select their leaders will be there. And the, what type of the competence do they have? There are the technical skills, HR, interpersonal skills, conceptual skills, uh, uh, analytical skills and designing skills. If these skills are there, definitely they will able to perform. Similarly, the motivation that what type of the motivation the followers have? The workers who share a leader's goals and values will be more motivated. So, they have a common goal, common goal and values that is becoming very, very important part. The diagram which I have shared with you earlier and then in that case you find that is the norms, values, but the norms and values are to be common and shared by the leader and the follower. In the case of the uh, number of followers, now in the, uh, in the management it is told 5 to 7 numbers of the subordinates are the followers uh, that will be very, very important. The number of followers reporting to a leader can have the significant implications. Uh, for example, if the, there are 5 to 7 which is a significant number, then definitely the leader will be able to perform in a better way. But when the number of followers is the 20, 25 then how he will control and therefore, it becomes very important what number of followers you are having. Followers trust in the leader, the value system. The value system is that norm system is that that is a trust with, uh, in the leaders is there or followers confidence or lack thereof in leaders interest in their well being is there. So, if uh, like the happiness. If the leader is concerned with the happiness of the followers, then definitely in that case it will affect the followers. And whenever the leader's decision making style is to make these followers very, very um, uh, 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 confident, uh, very much uh, the contributor to the organization, then definitely he is concerned with the well being of the employees. Now, here in this diagram, the leadership follower movie strips you will find. In this tip, leadership followers where in the two concepts merge, just as leadership and followership and then you find the interaction can become the indistinguishable in the organizations. So, even though it is having the different uh, uh, strip is there, but what is important is that that is the uh, in this strip it is very difficult to identify from where the leadership starts, whether the followership starts, they are different, but it looks like same it is one and therefore, in that case in this strip you will find like here if they, there is a change, change in the direction then definitely you will find um, that is the role of the leaders and followers that is becoming very, very important. To understand this strip it is very necessary that is the in a given situation the leaders and followers they are working together and when they are working together then there will be the effective leadership is there. Similarly, whenever there is an effective leadership is there in this trip you will find that is the third factor 
which is to be considered in the case of this uh, leadership and that is uh, about that in an organization culture. The organization culture should create this type of the strip and whenever organization culture creates this type of the strip, it becomes very, very important. Now, it, it, it is the matching. So, the, the personality, the value system uh, that, that is the interactions, interpersonal relationship between the follower and leaders that will make the strip more, more unicolor. Right? In the case of the uh, uh, followers, if they are having the different roles, the, then the, there will be the changing roles of the followers will be there. In a period of the dynamic change, right? increase pressure to function with the reduced resources. So, whatever the resources are, are now main, machine, material, money, method and minute, 6 M's are there, 6 resources are there. So, therefore, when, uh, in a crisis situation, there will be reduction will be there and the trend towards the greater power sharing will be there, authority in the organization. If this type of there, definitely there will be the problem, followers will be having the much more proactive in their stance towards the organizational problems are there. So, therefore, we leaders should be able to solve this complex problem and rapid changes. Now, as we see that uh, this, this era is the technological era and in the technological era there will be the rapid changes will be there and when there is a rapid changes is there, um, what followers can become? They can be the, they, they have to be skilled and influencing upward flexible and open to opportunities are there. So, that is a change management. In the case of the followers role uh, uh, because of the change of the technology. Uh, change of the business environment practices, it is very, very important that is they are having the influence uh, 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 making the positive, positive attitude and approach towards the influencing the change, influencing upwards and that influencing upward is making the change more and more positive and effectively. Now, the third factor after this uh, leader follower and uh, the third factor is the situation. The leadership often makes sense only in the context of how the leader and followers interact in a given situation. This is always very, very important. That is the, in the case of this context, uh, that is uh, how they, 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 they are having the trust, mutual respect, uh, understanding, uh, regards uh, and uh, the competency. And if these, uh, whenever leadership which is always have this uh, in a given changing situation, if they are able to perform, then leaders, right, without any getting this type of the complexity of, of the leadership framework is there. And therefore, in that case, the, they should not be the, in this uh, most ambiguous aspect of the leadership framework, it is very, very important that is the leader is able to understand the situation. If leader understands the situation and then accordingly he changes his leadership style and that we will talk into the further uh, sessions also that is the uh, in a given situation that is the contingency theories or the contemporary theories of the leadership is there and which talk about this particular pyramid. And in the pyramid you will find that is the what type of the interaction level is there amongst the leader and the followers. So, leaders create an environment in the interactions where the followers innovations and creative contributions are welcome. So, dear friends it becomes very, very important innovative ideas. The followers should come out with the solution to the problems, leader has given vision, followers have to follow, but the followers come out uh, with the, the problems into the problems then it will be very difficult. Leaders encourage growth and development in their followers beyond the scope of the job is there. So, always they try to see the, the potential uh, amongst the followers is there. They are more interested in the big picture of followers work then managers are there. So, managers are restricted to the what is to be done and whether you are performing or not. It is just like a performance appraisal, but the leaders are concerned with the potential appraisal. That is what type of the ability the followers is having. Leaders motivate followers through more personal and intangible factors are there. So, cognitive ability of the leader should be very strong. If the cognitive ability of the leader is strong, then intangible factors that will be highly contributing. Then leaders redefine the parameters of task and responsibilities. Many times uh, the, the one theory is there that is a uh, leader member exchange theory and then in that case you will find it is a task and responsibilities. If somebody has given certain task, he is not able to do it, what he has to do? 
the leader has to change the responsibility of that person from x to y. Managers uh, always uh, are in more likely to emphasize uh, routinization and control of followers behavior. So, therefore, in that case uh, the managers focus is narrow, their focus is to achieve the given targets only not beyond that and managers tend to assess following performers in terms of their explicit right. So, that in uh, intangible factors that the cognitive ability of the leaders that, that is not uh, is more reflected as come uh, in the uh, managers because of they the managers are having only in terms of explicit uh, fairly specific to job descriptions while the managers motivates followers more with the extrinsic even contractual consequences are there and therefore, in that case that intrinsic motivation level to raise that level the leaders are required because managers uh, uh, they, they, they are restricted only to given uh, consequences to be achieved. Managers tend to accept the definitions of situations presented to them hmm, in a given situation to affect the change officially through control tactics and therefore, here when we talk about the control tactics immediately it is becoming more formal and in the control tactics it, it becomes more uh, towards the getting the job done with the positioning power and not by the knowledge power. So, on the basis uh, of uh, the their uh, in a given situation how to behave that that experience that the right behavior in the another situation is there. So, in a given situation your one style will be applicable in the as soon as the situation changes your other style will be there. I would like to give the examples many leaders are not successful in when, when they change the organization. In the previous organization they are very much successful why because they have not changed the leadership style as per the change in the situation. Uh, through unable to you know, though unable to agree on the one best behavior in a given situation the agreement can exist on some clearly inappropriate behaviors are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, when we are talking about the effective leadership, the effective leadership is that is the uh, clearly appropriate behavior in a uh, if uh, you are having the proper behavior in a given situation you will be more and more successful is that. Saying that the right behavior for a leader depends on the situation differs from saying if does not matter what the leader does. And that is why many leaders they complain that is their effect their leadership is not getting the result because this is a particular point where as soon as the situation is changes then they do not leave what they are doing they their does that remain same. And if the does remain same it is very difficult to get the results in the changing scenario. So, uh, what does it mean? So, we can summarize that the leadership involves dynamic interaction between the leaders and followers in a particular situation. Why what is the dynamic interaction? Because the changes whether as soon as there is a change there has to be the uh, change into the leadership whether the change is of the followers or of the, uh, uh, the situation. Study of leadership must include the followers and the situation otherwise what will happen we uh, uh, here when we will be further discussing in this uh, subject uh, the leadership styles you have to uh, learn the all leadership styles, but adopt one according to the best situation is there. The interactive nature of the leader follower situation ca can help us in a better understanding. The changing nature of the leader followers relationship uh, is there. Uh, so, uh, I uh, like somebody is very expert uh, into the textile industry and when he, suppose he joins the aviation industry then in that case he is required to make the changes. The increasingly the greater complexity of the situation leaders and followers face and therefore, uh, uh, this change is a complex and that is to be learned. So, good leadership can be enhanced by greater awareness of the factors influencing the leadership process. Who, what are those factors? Followers and situation and if you understand them with the changing scenario they are changing and then you adopt the uh, appropriate uh, uh, their uh, leadership style then definitely leadership will be successful. 
Here I would like to take one case study also. It is a nation's the fourth largest employer United Parcel Service uh, with the 357,000 employees worldwide and operations is more than, uh, than the 200 countries is there. And in this case study you will find that is the uh, this uh, Joviata Kernoza joined UPS in 1976 as a part time clerk in Los Angeles LA and the Carenza demonstrated a strong work ethic and the commitment to uh, United Parcel Service and the uh, United Parcel Service rewarded her with the opportunities, opportunities Carenza was not shy about taking advantage of and therefore, in that case whatever opportunities she was getting and then she was uh, um, saying yes to those opportunities. By 1985, Teresa was the workforce planning manager in metropolitan Los Angeles by 1987 she was district human resource manager. Now, you see the career then she has become the district human resource manager in the central Texas by 1990 accepted a move to district human resource manager in Illinois. She received her first operations assignment as division manager for the hub package and federal operations in Illinois in 1991. 2 years later uh, she said yes to becoming district officer and therefore, in 1999 she, when she uh, again she has become the progressive successful leader UPS to promote her to president of the America's region. So, from 1985 to 1999 her journey so, this was their opportunities which she has uh, said yes to those opportunities and, and you also must have noticed that she has gone to the different locations. From there she moved into her current position as vice president of the UPS air operations based in the Louisville, um, Kentucky. Karnaza um, uh, uh, attributes much of her success to her eagerness to take on the new challenges. Now, you see that in the organization sometimes uh, the people are having the different uh, academic background or skill background, but they have been shifted to the new and what she has done she is accepted. After the nearly 30 years with UPS, Kenza was says teamwork, interaction and self development are the achievements of which she is proudest. Because it takes focus, determination and sincerity to perpetuate the UPS culture and enhance it through the people is there. So, perpetuate that particular this culture is becoming the very very important. Kerenza's corporate achievements, determination, drive, innovation and leadership in business have earned her the distinction of being named that a Hispanic business magazine's woman of the year and that, that was the her achievement and the value systems she has talked about determination and the sincerity is there. And always that uh, whenever he, she has uh, taken any assignment she has given her 100 percent. She credits her parents both of the Mexican uh, descent with her teaching her the importance of being committed of working hard and doing so with a positive outlook. Principles uh, she says continues to guide her personal and professional life and therefore, in that case like this way she has become successful. Now, here there are uh, some questions which you can think of and may take uh, as an assignment. What are the major skills Jovita Karnaza has demonstrated in her career at UPS that have made her a successful leader and therefore, in that case those values and norms that flexibility and the change which uh, she has been accepted that is becoming the her important parameters. Consider the spiral of experience that Jovita Karnaza has traveled, how has her experiences affected her ab ability as a leader and therefore, in that case you have to also think that is the what were the parameters in spite of so many changes that is the and but it is the upgrading it was the upward influencing upward she has adopted. Do you think Zovita Kanaza's performance and rise in the UPS would have been similarly impressive if she worked in the corporate sector rather than the government is there and therefore, in that case again in India we talk a lot about public sector units and the private sector units and therefore, we talk about the organization cultures and whether the person in the public sector will be successful in the private sector that you have to think of. Here I would also like to mention a research paper a contingent view of leadership 360 degree assessment of leadership behavior in different context. This paper is the author is the Tony Manning journal is industrial and commitment training right published in the 2 September 2013 and in this particular paper that is the what were the situations view of the leadership. If the situation view of the leadership in a given situation uh, uh, that there is a some essence of effective leadership there are universal leadership traits and are behaviors associated with success in all situations universal irrespective of uh, any country. 
This article aims to challenge such views providing evidence showing that 360 degree assessment of different leadership behaviors vary according to the context. This article seeks to present evidence that supports a contingent view of the leadership is there, that is a situational view of the leadership is there. And if there is a that particular situation view of the leadership, if it is becoming very much uh, uh, the effective, then definitely in that case you will find that is the, the there will be the changing into the leadership styles. And in the leadership styles, it will be that is the, uh, the uh, uh, approach will be uh, for doing this type of the research which has been adopted in this paper is that is the, uh, at the degree of the correlation and its statistical significance uh, between the self assessed leadership behavior and the 360 degree assessment of performance evidence is presented showing that results vary in different context. So, therefore, in that case that is the it uh, that, that uh, the leadership follow relationship with the contextual with the change in the context the relationship uh, between the uh, the leader followers will change and not only this the overall leadership that overall leadership because of that 360 degree assessment of the performance it, it will be going to be changed. So, what is the uh, finding of this particular research? Statistically significant relationships were found between leadership behaviors and 360 degree outcomes. These relationships varied according to the context including the individual's seniority, control over resources and line management responsibility. Now, you see the person, person make a lot of difference. And therefore, when we are talking about the individual's uh, seniority is there, uh, then definitely uh, it, it is the what type of uh, the experience and competency he has, he or she has and what type of the control over resources, main machine ma material money method and means and th that is the line management responsibility is having the whether fulfillment or not that is to be checked. So, the research finding highlights the fact that in order to be effective leaders needs to tailor their behavior to the specific situation. Consequent, uh, in, inappropriate behavior reduces the personal effectiveness and in consequence organizational effectiveness naturally. Providers of leadership training and development need to be more aware of the contingent nature of the leadership and this means abandoning universal leadership models and the prescriptions are there and therefore, in that case it, it is the appropriate behavior of the leader. Uh, that will motivate uh, uh, the uh, um, followers and uh, in a given organization or in a given situation that leadership which is uh, having the appropriate behavior that will be more successful. The successful global leadership will be framework for the cross cultural managers and organizations. Um, this particular book is successful global leadership which you can refer uh, authors are Raymond Hansen and languages in, in this particular book and therefore, you will find that is the when you are working globally. So, naturally you are interacting with the different cross cultural managers and uh, different organizations how you can become the more and more successful uh, in such type of this uh, uh, organization uh, global leadership organizations and uh, because as I was mentioning about the uh, inappropriate behavior and the appropriate behavior whenever we are talking about the appropriate behavior then definitely in that case you have to see that is the whether you are having that particular norms to perform as a global leadership or not. And therefore, in that case uh, it becomes very, very important that as the situation changes and then uh, are the followers changes then you have to be e e equally effective. Enhancing uh, the lessons of the experience is there and therefore, here you will find that is in, in this book uh, there will be the lot of uh, 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 the uh, experiences have been shared by the different leaders and the, that on the basis of their experiences uh, you, we can find out that is the in a given because now you have to also learn. That is, if there is a given situation, in a given situation, how we should have uh, the different uh, 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 appropriate behavior. Because, uh, uh, okay, we should have the appropriate behavior, but whether the appropriate behavior, uh, how to learn and how to implement. And therefore, certain uh, examples are given in this experience sharing and on this basis of this experience sharing in this book, uh, it is becoming very, very important uh, that is the we, we are able to develop that particular uh, effectiveness in the uh, experiences of uh, uh, this uh, uh, book. Ultimately, uh, it is becoming uh, very, very important that is the leadership 
it is not solely responsible on the leader. So, it depends on the followers and, and also on the situation is there. My suggestion is this that is we can learn from the different books and uh, different sources, but the best learning is there is a self learning self experiences and therefore, once you have this knowledge in a given uh, that is the uh, as the followers changes as the situation changes then leadership that, that has to be changed. Right? But what is important is uh, that through these courses you will be able to learn the uh, in a given situation how the leader should behave. For a simple example is when you are changing from one nature of industry to the another nature of industry it becomes very very important that is the what type of the changes you will make. So, one may be the skilled industry a highly skilled industry is there then definitely you will be performing on the basis of that particular uh, uh, organizational aspects. So, it becomes very very important that is the please understand different situations and they work uh, uh, in a different way. So, this way uh, we are uh, able to understand these leaders, followers and the situation model. Thank you.